one two thousandth of a second. That's all the time it takes for the club to hit the ball and the ball to leave the club face again. My name is Klaus Eldrup Jørgensen and uh, I, I found the track man. I'm definitely a golf lover. I was not a great player, but I was a good player. I love to practice. When we started, the question we asked ourselves was, can you make it more fun, more efficient to practice using technology? In the beginning of, of 2003, I mean, there's a lot of technology around, but nothing has happened to golf for decades. So, I mean, you still buy a bucket of balls and uh, you hit it. And at least at that point in time, you didn't get any feedback. I'm not a technician or radar engineer or, or anything like that myself. So I was very, very lucky and ran into a very, very good guy who's been spending his whole life and career working in the military using Doppler radar. My name is Frederick Toxen, and I'm the inventor of the TrackMan technology. The first time I met Klaus, I was head of R&D, making radars for military applications, so tracking missiles, bullets, rockets, uh, and that stuff. He had this fantastic uh, business idea, if you could track a golf ball, how you could make a business out of that. In the beginning, we thought of this as a practice tool, but it quickly turned out that we had a lot of interesting data that actually was uh, very uh, valuable to the equipment manufacturers. After equipment manufacturers, it became club fitting, and eventually it became teaching. In the beginning, we just measured the ball, how far was the ball traveling, and uh, the height of the ball, the spin of the ball. In the old days, people thought that they could just look at the golf ball and tell what the club was doing at impact, but you can't do that. There's several combinations of golf ball and club impact that will give you the same ball flight. So if you don't know exactly what goes on at impact, you don't really know what to correct. What happens when a club meets a ball, and why is it that for some people it is absolutely optimal to have a 3300 RPM spin rate, where for others it's only 2000 RPM spin rate? And that actually was a foundation to a lot of the insights and thought leadership that we created at TrackMan. And what is it you want to do if you want to maximize your own potential? We had to develop new terminology like attack angle. How much are you hitting up on the ball? How much are you hitting down on the ball? If you are making contact with the ball after the low point, you have a positive attack angle. Your club path will always be more to the left for a right hand player than your swing direction. When I talked to instructors back in the early days, I mean, this was mind-blowing for them. They had not had this geometric picture in their minds before. And this completely changed the way they were thinking about how to swing the club, where to make contact with the club, and how to achieve desirable numbers. When TrackMan brought out this, you need to hit up on your driver to maximize your distance. This was very controversial. TrackMan is a hardware company where everything is designed in-house. I mean, there's not a component you find in any of our devices that we have not designed ourselves. We design our own microwaves components. We are building all the electronics. There's not a piece of code that is running either on the devices or in the applications that has not been built in-house. We are definitely also a data company. We started out using Doppler radar technology. I cannot see that in future we will not always have a piece of that. But in the very first TrackMan, we also had a camera in there for ease of use so we can align the, the TrackMan. Four or five years ago, we took a completely new step with using the cameras as a tracking device. So now we are tracking both in radar as well as in camera data, computer vision. Will there be new technologies we'll be adding to this in the future and that we are exploring? Yes, big time. The orange box is a good story. In the beginning, we didn't have a lot of money, but we decided we wanted to use a little bit of money on product design. So we actually had the pleasure of meeting one of the key designers for the Danish hi-fi company called Bang & Olufsen. And he helped us you know, shape the box and so on. But then he said, you're going to make that box orange. If you make it orange, you're gonna own the orange color on the golf course. And that was a fantastic advice. One of the best we ever had. One of the things that makes me super, super proud if I or anybody else goes to a PGA Tour event, European Tour event, the full range is covered by orange boxes, TrackMans. And these are TrackMans that tour pros have purchased on their own. We've never ever and will never give any TrackMans away for free. 
This is state-of-the-art technology designed to provide the highest level of accuracy that tour players and equipment manufacturers so need. If it's not against the laws of physics, it can be done.